I bought these banana connectors at my local electronics store with the intention of using them in some projects that I have. One of them being this uh, AC motor tester slash switch that I made the other day. There's a link to it right here. I was also going to buy some of the bulk generic test leads that they had. And they were reasonably priced. I think they were $13 for 25 feet. And for some reason, I didn't buy them. I just thought it was a little much for... Uh, for my purposes. So what I did is I went ahead and bought the banana connectors because sometimes they don't have them in stock. And when I got home, I remembered that I had a bag full of bad test leads. So what I'm gonna do is use those bad test leads to make a couple set of multimeter probes. The first step is gonna be finding out what leads are good and what leads are bad. As with most wire, my suspicion is the fault lies within a few inches of a termination point. So that means either here at the end of the uh, where the probe is at or back at the connection where the multimeter is. So I'm going to go through these and see if I can find uh, enough wire to make me a couple sets of banana connectors. I found this pair of wire that looks like it came from a set of fluke probes. So I'll go through these and test them and find out where the fault lies and make sure that the wire is still good. Looks like the red lead is still good. Looks like the black lead is still good. So let's go ahead and put some solder on these and connect them to the banana plugs. I've intentionally cut this kind of long and I'll show you the reason why here in a second. Now I'll tend both ends of both leads. The reason why I wanted them a little long is because I wanted to be able to keep the solder as I screw down this uh, screw. And that'll make the wire conform to the bottom of the screw, helping prevent the wire from coming out. And now I'll just take some side cutters and cut the ends off. Not bad. Let's see if there's enough room to run both of these through this hole. Doesn't look too bad. That'll be some nice strain relief for the wire. That's kind of what the finished product looks like. And it looks like that that's deep enough to prevent me from getting shocked by accidentally touching it. 
but I may just put a tad bit of clear conformal coating on top of that to give one more layer of protection. This time I have to run the strain relief before I actually install the wires. And I want to do the same thing here. I want to install red on this side and black on that side. I'm going to apply another coat of solder because I pulled the lead out a little bit when I was pulling it through the strain relief. So let's test them out and see how they work. One thing to note is you may want to check the lengths of your wire. I didn't pay any attention to that and it looks like the, the red lead is a little bit longer than the black lead and that would add more stress to the black lead. I'll plug this into my DC power supply over here and see if we've got a good set of leads. That's one thing I do love about this multimeter is that bar graph. Look how quick that thing is. And for the fun of it, let's do one other test. Let's test the input impedance on this multimeter. And now let's test the reverse. So it looks like everything works. So that's not bad. Just for a couple bucks, you get a new set of test leads. Oh, one more thing. This was the main reason why I wanted to make these anyway, was to be able to connect them into this switch. So let's see if it works. So we should see 120 volts when I flip the switch. So that looks like that works. It's kind of interesting that uh, it's reading the frequency just off the capacitance voltage from the, the switch. So not bad for a couple bucks. You get a new set of a test leads. I made a second set as well. And just a, a little tip if you're going to make these yourself. Go ahead and make one connection. So do the soldering. Put it through the strain relief. And then go ahead and uh, uh, heat the solder and screw it down and then pull the leads out and then make your cuts as far as length goes. That way they'll be the same length. This, this pair turned out a little bit better. So deal with that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
adapter on there. I'm going to do a review on that sometime soon, but uh, it wasn't everything that I thought it was going to be. But it does exactly what it says it's supposed to, which is allow you to connect to this uh, meter uh, over your phone. But I was hoping that they would have it to where you could actually update the meter from here since it has that mini USB connect. Hey Mabel, come in here and turn this tape recorder off. I'm going to go back to watch my picture shows.